Hi, my name is Stuart Bull and uh, I'm going to talk to you today about an interesting subject. Uh, it's about what you want in life, how to get it, how to think about it uh, and how I've had the successes that I've had. The thing that made me do this was when I woke up this afternoon, uh, I noticed a post on Facebook from a fellow guitar player who was uh, basically saying that he was having trouble making ends meet, didn't know whether he wanted to carry on or not, wasn't sure what was going on and uh, like a lot of people were, you know, was looking for answers. Well, in my case, it sounds a bit zen, but everything I've become, I already was. When I was a kid, I knew I was going to be a musician. I already was a musician inside. I was like somebody who was already a carpenter, but didn't have an axe and didn't know how to cut wood or make chairs. But inside, that's who I was. I was a musician. In my case, I was a musician. Uh, at first, I played drums uh, because I thought it was maybe easier. And I had some success, but not as much success as I would have liked. Um, but when I started to play the guitar, you know, that's when things really, really kicked off for me because I knew from a kid that's what I wanted to do. I knew that's who I was. When I first saw a guitar in a shop, it just made me, I can't describe the feeling. You know, I wanted to be a musician and a guitar player. I wasn't one of these guys that saw Jimi Hendrix picked up a guitar. I didn't see Jimmy Page pick up a guitar. None of that happened for me. I just always was that person. And the moral of the story is that you will become what you already are. And so how do you find out what you already are? Well, you have to look inside yourself and ask yourself who you really are. What do you love? If you're a mother and you love your kids and you want to dedicate your life to bringing them up, that is who you are. And you know, you shouldn't stick, you should stick at that. Sorry, Freudian slip there. You should stick at that um, because not everybody, you know, is going to be a millionaire, which is great because that's more money for me. But uh, my point being is whatever you are is what you will become. I believe in my case, whatever I want, I will get. And the analogy is, you know, if I want to have a certain amount of money, that amount of money already exists. It's on a table across the street. It's sitting there. And the only difference between me actually having it in my hands is I've just got to walk across and pick it up and it's mine. And that's what it is. And so I don't think about whether or not I can get it or not. All I know is I've just got to walk across the street and pick it up. And to me, that signifies the journey of being able to get what it is you want. So you've got to find out who you are and what you love. When I started off with Total Accuracy, it already existed in my mind. I knew what it was. I knew what I wanted it to be. Did it change a little bit? Yeah, because I brought other people in, and, but it still worked out really, really well, and you learn these lessons as you go along. But Total Accuracy already existed in my mind. I was already doing it in my bedroom, making backing tracks for people. I was already doing it. I just, you know, made it become, uh, you know, on a bigger scale. Same with Lick Library. You know, it already existed in my mind. It was already a company. It was already there. You know, if you shut your eyes, the world's not there, but you know that it is. And all you have to do is open them and it's there. And it's the same with whatever you want to do. Uh, you know, if I've wanted to be a better player, all I have to do is imagine what it is I want to do. I mean, at times I've been thinking to myself, oh, I should be better at jazz. But the fact of the matter is, I don't really like the guitar in jazz. That's for me. I mean, there's odd players that I like, uh, you know, like Joe Pass and George Benson. But the fact is, I'm a much bigger fan of the piano in jazz. I'm a much bigger fan of the drums in jazz. I'm a much bigger fan of the saxophone in jazz. Um, and that's why, you know, I'll never be a great jazz guitar player because that's not who I am. But I love the sound of people like Gary Moore. I love that kind of expression. And that's why. I am becoming and have become that type of player. Not to say I'm as good as Gary Moore or whatever, but you know, I'm happy with the way it's going because I already am that guy inside. It's like Michelangelo said, you know, the statue is already there. All he has to do is just remove the pieces of rock from around it and it already exists. So, if you're having any doubts in your life with what you want to do and how you're going to get there, Find out who you really are. Find out what you really want because the chances are, or it's a fact, you already are that person. You've just forgotten it through your many lives or whichever cosmic belief you uh, decide to employ. And all you've got to do is re-remember who, who that is, who you are, and how to do it. Because it's the journey that makes it fun. 
If I already knew in my mind I was the best guitar player in the world, if I already knew I could wipe the floor with Alan Holsworth, it still wouldn't be any fun if I never picked the guitar up again. It's the playing of it and the pursuit and the learning and the desire and the blood, the sweat and the tears, you know, which are uh, the thing that make it fun. Just knowing you're a certain thing doesn't really mean anything. It's doing it. Even if everybody told me I was absolutely so far ahead of everybody else, you know, it was ridiculous. I'd still want to manifest that into playing. I'd still want to do it because that's what makes it fun and that's what ultimately will give you the success. So, you just gotta basically find out who you are, find out what you want, find out who you really are, and then just become it. And you know, one of the best comments I've ever heard is, don't think, don't try, just do.